Hey GED students, it's GED question of the daytime and it looks like we've got a word problem going on. Let's go ahead and read it. It says, how many square inches of wrapping paper would it take to cover a 9 inch by 7 inch by 11 inch box? Now, um, this is a geometry problem over here, uh, definitely for sure. We've got a shape. Uh, our shape is a, why is my pen not working? Hold on. Our shape is a uh, nine inch by a seven inch by 11 inch box. And since it doesn't give it, me any uh, information about the shape of the box, I'm just gonna assume that like most boxes, it's that kind of rectangular prism shape there. Now, be really careful, because a lot of students just automatically jump to the volume formula here. They're like, okay, look, look at the time sign. Uh, there's this rectangular prism. I'm going to go find the volume. But it's super important to know that um, volume uh, is the amount to fill uh, a three-dimensional shape. That's what volume is. And we're not going to fill this shape with wrapping paper. Instead, we're going to cover it. The problem even says cover the box with wrapping paper. Another big clue here about what I'm to do, it says how many square inches of wrapping paper would it take? Volume is measured not in square units, but in cubic units. So I have a lot of big clues here that what I'm actually looking for is what's known as surface area. Surface area uh, is uh, how many squares it would take to cover a three-dimensional shape. Again, that's how many squares it would take to, or square units, so here's square units, it would take to cover a three-dimensional shape. And there I have my box. And so this is a surface area problem. So if you look at your GED formula sheet for a surface area of a rectangular solid, you'll get this formula. So surface area of a rectangular, they call it a rectangular prism. SA is equal to 2LW, meaning 2 times the length times the width. That makes sense because there's two rectangles there of dimension length times width, plus uh, 2LH, the two rectangles of length times height, plus 2WH, the two rectangles of width times height. Now this might look like an ugly formula, but your calculator is going to do all the hard work for you. All you have to know how to do is substitute in. So you might say, Kate, well, which one of these measurements is the length, which is the width, and which is the height? And as it turns out, it doesn't matter. The three dimensions of a rectangular prism are interchangeable. So I'll call this one length, I'll call the seven width, and I'll call the 11 height. Again, it's not that important. So now let's substitute in. SA is equal to two. And remember when things are shoved together, they're multiplying. So two times seven uh, times the, oh, I made the width seven. I may at least be consistent. Two times the length I called nine, the width I called seven, plus two times the length I called nine, the height I called 11, plus two times the width I called seven, the height I called 11. Two nine by seven rectangles, two nine by 11 rectangles and two seven by 11 rectangles uh, make up this total shape here. Uh, now you can simplify this entire expression. Notice how the right hand side has no letters left. Since there's no letters left, it's all numbers and operations. We can type that entire expression into our TI and our, your calculator can handle the order of operations for you. So I'm going two times nine times seven plus two times nine times 11 and your calculator even has parentheses. Two times seven times 11. And I get that the surface area is 478. And you might be asking 478 what? 478 square inches. All right. How much wrapping paper would it take to cover this box? Quite a bit of wrapping paper, 478 square inches. If you have any questions about this or any other GED topic, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.